All right, welcome back, everybody. This is M-Dog, and we are here at Sura River down here in D8 at the pond at Sura. Fishing one of three spots, and I'll briefly show you all three, although we're just going to be fishing at this middle one here for a couple minutes, where I've recently been able to get some nice trophy roach. Uh, and it's just been a lot of fun. Um, here, let me run around to the three spots real quick. So we're at 55, 48-ish, somewhere in there. For that one i've actually done a video a long time ago on this first spot down here um it's around 60 44 if you kind of cast in this direction uh, about 10 11 meter clip i'm really using about 10 11 meter clip about at all these spots to be fair uh but you can see some nice trophies over here as well and then the third spot is actually past where we are but not past it by much you can go right down here and again just kind of throw into this green stuff here 10, 11 meter clip. So we've got, uh, we've got 3.1 uh, or 3.2 fluorocarbon liters. We're using size 10 hooks. That feels like about the sweet spot for me. Um, we've got uh, mayfly larva, mayfly larva, and then pearl barley here on this third one. With this 3.1, 3.2 liter, keep your friction brake fairly low just so you can kind of see what size the fish is and adjust from there. You will occasionally catch, of course, like gibbles and and, uh, and crucians. And then I have, according to what bait I've had out there, I've occasionally like landed some some different fatter things as well. I mean, you just kind of want to be a little cautious when you're using this this small of a leader. Um, but the nice thing is there's been some a lot of trophies coming out. And so it's not really a great silver farm. I mean, if you're high enough level to get to Sur, you probably, um, uh, you're probably, you've probably got some other options in terms of, you know, where you might be able to get more silver per hour. However, if you're trying to get some trophies or specifically roach trophies, or if you have dreams of getting a blue tag fish, this might just be your spot. Um, and why I say that, if you look at the U.S. weeklies here, um, we got this blue tag yesterday at Sura. So... And this was my second blue tag roach. So I, uh, and the first one was at Sura, but it was a long time ago, like a year and a half ago. So um, that sounds like a good fish, doesn't it? If it's a roach, we should be able to just stop it, turn its head around towards us, and it should just come straight in once we lift it up a little bit. This is a nice fish, though. See, w this is pearl barley, though, so I feel like it could just as easily be uh, not a roach and something else, you know? Oh, that is a roach. It's not that nice. It was just a strong one, huh? I mean, it's fine, but it's not over a kilo. It certainly wasn't a trophy. Um, all right, let's see what we've got on mayfly larva. This is what I've seen the largest roaches coming out. This is what the blue tag came out on yesterday. And I have gotten trophy roach out of all three of these spots so to me this is like a situation where you kind of want to rotate right you want to maybe fish for one day here and then maybe the next day down here and then maybe the following day either back here or over at this first spot this first spot used to be on fire back when i made that video which has been a few months ago I still have seen trophies and nice roach come out of there, but it doesn't feel like it's its own fire like it was back then. But we were also using caddisfly larva back then, which does still seem to be working. The only thing I would say is as far as like the trophies and the blue tag, um, you know, the, what we're using now, the mayfly larva, I think is going to be overall the best right now uh, unless you want to use like a high level bait like a one of the the big boy larvas you might be able to try try those but i'm not sure that those are i mean i i was using um 
I was using these yesterday or the day before along with the mayfly larva some and I caught trophies on both but I think the again the best fish were usually caught on the mayfly larva so right now I think mayfly larvas is the way to go and float fishing works here good to, as well um I don't have sandwich bait unlocked and so because I don't have sandwich bait sometimes I feel like I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage with float but that's why I'm trying to level it up this might be a trophy for you here it just depends that some of them just fight different like that last one we had really felt like a trophy but then it wasn't we should be able to tell as soon as we see it i couldn't get a good look at it no that's not a trophy but they it's funny these roaches like pull pretty hard and but as soon as you turn their head they come right in which is kind of cool to see but we are getting some nice fish out of this I guess the other thing I could mention is I am using loop rig on the second and third line. And I'm using uh, inline on the first rig. And I noticed this yesterday, like I was catching some fish on inline, but I think my bite rate on loop rig was just better. I'm going to move this one down a little bit to make sure it's not like directionally where the, where the line was being cast, but for whatever reason, I feel like, and I've got points in both at this point, but I think my bite frequency is just a little higher on loop in uh, in this spot. Oh, they almost had a trophy tinch. Now, I haven't seen a trophy come out on Pearl Barley yet, but I think that's just because I haven't used Pearl Barley as much. sweet daughter sending me a text message um so i mean i'm sure they will come out on pearl barley potentially but and by the way this is this is my favorite time for roach fishing like starting at about four or five in the morning all the way up till about 10 this is where i've usually had the most the highest percentage of the trophies come out all right that's our first off of the inline we are using common roach ground bait, like just regular roach ground bait. And all these should be clipped at about 10 or 11. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, if you, if you happen to be fishing at Sura and see a pretty easy roach uh, cafe order, this would be a pretty quick filling of a cafe order if it was the right time of day um it, and they bite throughout the day i would say in the evening they start to slow down and then of course overnight's pretty slow unless you switch baits and catch something else i was hoping we would uh be fortunate here and, and grab one of those trophies like we have been with some frequency in this spot but it may not happen right now, but it has been happening with a uh, pretty good frequency. So again, if you're just looking for a trophy spot or, um, you know, that, that rare chance that you might land the, a, your first blue tag, I think this is a reasonable place to try that um, right now. that may be one of the downsides of pearl barley right now is that um, compared to mayfly larva you are going to see those uh, you know get crucians and stuff a little bit more often
So another possible trophy here. Just depends on what kind of fish it is, I guess. It's close. We're getting close. Pearl Barley's doing pretty good in terms of bite rate, at least. Um, might be worth having one line with Pearl Barley on there. I still think, though, with the trophies, it's, it's worth using Mayfly Larva on a couple lines. I usually like doing Pearl Barley on float, because I feel like it just gets a faster bite rate with float, especially, but... We'll try to go to about noon here. I mean, not that we can't catch a trophy past noon, but I do feel like the odds start going down a little bit at that point. But you do catch a lot of fish in a short amount of time, which is fun. Take a break from all that carp fishing you're doing at Amber or whatever and come grab some uh, trophy roach. Once again, I'm not sure. I may post this video in a couple days once I'm out of town, just to trying to fill up some content while I'm not here, since I won't be able to stream or make videos for a week or five days or something. So uh, this video may be a couple days out by the time it comes out, a couple days old by the time it comes out. But let's go get some more ground bait. I should have made this video yesterday. <clears throat> Not that I necessarily would time it where I'm like recording when a trophy comes in, but I did have like the blue tag and three or four other trophy roaches in my in my net at the same time. So I, I should have just done it then. But 
you know, what, for what it's worth, it, this this whole bank seems to be a pretty decent spot to to get some nice roach if that is something that interests you. I'm not sure what that was. It didn't really look like a roach. Oh, that was a common carp. Good grief. Bite rate on the pearl barley is fascinating right now. It's just fish after fish. Kind of makes me want to see what it would be like to have pearl barley on all three. Although that common carp is a little scary. We do have really small hooks on though to, to get too unlucky with a tiny, uh, with a common, common carp though. That's the smallest one I've seen. Although again, that's on pearl barley. We're definitely having the most variance on fish and sizes on the pearl barley. Most of them have been pretty good, decent size roach markers for sure with these uh, size 10 hooks. weird because that that middle rod was doing so well and it has gone really silent I don't know it might might should have just recast it or something but it went really quiet and I, I didn't really notice till now that I just haven't caught that many fish on it lately okay common roach sura 55 49 clip 10 10 or 11 size 10 hooks I still think overall I would uh, I would recommend nature mayfly larva because the only reason really to do this is to try to get trophies or uh, or your blue tag it's it's not really compared to other things you could probably farm it's not like a perfect silver farm I guess we can go look real quick and see See how much um, 40 minutes of fishing has netted us. I mean, it's going to be like 50 silver or something, probably. Let's see if we can get this last bite to finally go through. It's trying. That's weird. 
How long has that been sitting there? I guess it just wasn't pulling hard. Alright. I mean, it hadn't been on there that long because we just picked it up and checked it not long ago. All right, 54 silver. I was just about exactly right there. Okay, thanks for watching as always. Hopefully you can get your uh, trophy or even blue trophy. Common Roach, if that's something you're wanting to go after. I will talk to you later. See you next time.